Hey everyone, doing a quick account overview today. Uh, my account is 1,500 days old and I started this game in 1824 where I've been king for almost four years now. We just finished our 14th KBK and we were originally a two alliance kingdom. Both about at 10 billion power, but after KVK finished, we decided to move down to a one alliance kingdom. It's not because that we lost the KVK, we actually won it, but current meta is downsizing the kingdom into a one alliance kingdom so that matchmaking is basically favorable to you in a decent way. Um, after our downsizing, we became a 12 billion power alliance with 650 billion kill points. Uh, these are my personal stats. 150 million at the highest and 60 million deads. My altar kills highest is 280 million kills. And that was two KBKs ago where we fought 1855 with another camp was they were in another camp with 2095 and we were in a camp by ourselves because we were an imperium kingdom so as you can tell if you're an imperium kingdom you're usually placed in a camp by yourself where you're matched against a camp with another a or b seed and how this game works right now is because equipments and inscriptions are now scalable basically in the game and the game has been existing for quite a long time basically the more quantity of players you have on your side fighting another kingdom or enemy you would also have some advantage in the long run now what i think what makes our kingdom good or really good is that we have 24 7 activity because we have players from all different time zones uh, this means that we don't have a clear downtime, so we're either defending all day or fighting all day and people can go to sleep and come back and we'll still be in the fight. But anyways, the whole purpose of this video today is to share my account where it's at after 1,500 days. And here we go. So I have, I basically run seven marches. Not tricky. And these are my seven marches that I run during KVK. So Nev Joan, Qua Will, Liu, Che and Alex, Scipio and Sargon, maybe Tarek depends. Herman, Sugaliang, put Herman on the front because the movement speed is faster. Belly Honda might move around, switch around. Trajan Ethel fled for a debuff march, or it would be in a mixed garrison if I'm not doing anything else. And here are my equipments. This is my Qua with all crits, but the iconics are not all there, still have to work on them. These are my inscriptions. I still have to re-roll two of these stats once I get a crystal iconic crystal that I can use to reset my rolls. Anyways, these are the inscriptions I have. This one I purchased off the store and I put it on my cav because I want it to be a cav rally. And a cap garrison when Justinian and Nevsky was the rally meta. It's from KVK. And I have this patronage because Hua also has healing. And when it uses a healing skill, then I deal two extra damage. And everything is all damage. It's my Guan Yu, but I changed it to Scipio Prime during KVK. And I'm trying to work on five sets. I usually would use Terek to rally or Gorgo to garrison. Uh, the, this is my inscription. Ten, second is the reset. I still have to crit these. And still have to work on the, on the other iconics, but I'm working on a little five first to make the movement speed quicker. Because war is always dynamic, it's never static. Like most YouTubers show. You're not fighting in a fixed position unless you're rallying your garrison. You're always moving back and forth, refreshing your troops and fighting. Uh, I do not have this. This is my inscriptions for my Liu or my arch formation. 
with my Trajan. I made these two equipment pieces before the leadership gear came out, but they're not too bad. They offer a lot of stats and they're pretty decent because you can get this from Lost Canyon and make it a Titanic 5. I like to use War Drums because I think Rage really offers a really good mechanic more than all damage, especially in fielding conditions where you're always in a dynamic fight, where you're moving back, back and forth using Rages, not getting sucked into enemy balls. This is my inscription for my Trajan. Just got this from KVK, it offers Rage and it's good for Sunset Canyon. This is my second Cav March. I usually put this on Belly Prime during KVK because I like to slow down enemies with a quick moving commander. And this is my inscription for my second Cav set. Technically my, my weakest troop type because I never really focused on the archers that much. And this is my archer inscription. I really like the all damage part. I have more movement speed, 5% and 2.5 here. Another KVK legendary inscription with an elite for more all damage and this my belly flag here. I'll move it around and planning to make another war drum. Hopefully to have three war drums in my sunset lineup and I can switch around. Very KVK if needed. I have seven inscriptions here, stats alright. My Sargon, this is my 3rd Infantry Armament set for Olympiad because Infantry and Mixed Troops are the way to go, but... That's that, and this is my Mixed Troop Garrison set. Alright. If you have any questions or any ideas for videos that I should make or you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.